Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com. This is your video lecturer Vamika Soni and in the current video lecture I will explain you all about mechanism of photosynthesis. The topics that I will explain in the current video lecture are first of all I will tell you about opening and closing of stomata. See there are two theories that are related to opening and closing of stomata. First one is the sugar concentration theory and the second one is the potassium ion concentration theory. Then I will explain about the mechanism of photosynthesis in which in this video lecture I will deal with the raw materials for photosynthesis. So let's begin with opening and closing of stomata. First I will explain about the sugar concentration theory. See according to this theory the chloroplast present in the guard cells prepares osmotically active substances by photosynthesis. As a result, their osmotic and turgor pressure increases due to endosmosis which results in opening of stomata. Endosmosis is the inward movement of water. If for any reason water content of the leaf is falling short, the water is drawn out of the guard cells due to exosmosis which is the outward movement of water making them flaccid which results in closing of stomata. So this was the sugar concentration theory which explained about the opening and closing of stomata. Next we will discuss about the potassium ion concentration theory. According to this theory Stomatal opening and closing occur due to active transport of potassium ions into or out of the guard cells. During daytime, the chloroplast in the guard cells photosynthesize which leads to production of ATP. This ATP is used to actively pump the potassium ions of the adjacent cells into the guard cells. Increased potassium concentration in the guard cells make them hypertonic. As a result, their turgor pressure increases due to endosmosis which results in opening of stomata. Reverse happens at night. Potassium ion leak out and the turgor of guard cells reduces which results in closing of stomata. See, here you can see the Summary of the potassium ion concentration theory, stomata opening where the guard cells are swollen. These red droplets you can see, these are the potassium ions and here are more potassium ions as compared to the outer surface and here where the guard cells are shrunken, the stomata is closed. You can see the, uh, the concentration of potassium ions are higher. Air. So this was all about potassium ion concentration theory. Next we will discuss about mechanism of photosynthesis. This is the overall reaction of photosynthesis which we have also seen in the previous video lecture in which carbon dioxide with water in the presence of light and chlorophyll is converted into glucose and oxygen. This is the symbol equation and in this video lecture I will deal with the raw materials for photosynthesis and the first raw material is carbon dioxide. See terrestrial plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere which contains 0.03% carbon dioxide while hydrophytes aquatic plants obtain carbon dioxide from surrounding water which may contain 0.3% or more of carbon dioxide dissolved in it. Next is water. Terrestrial plants obtain water from soil due to absorption by the roots while the body surface of hydrophytes absorbs water from surrounding. Then energy. The sun is ultimate source of energy. Photosynthesis can take place in the presence of light. Here you can see the image that shows how the energy is trapped during photosynthesis. Sunlight falls on the leaf. Palisade cells contain many chloroplasts. See how light energy is trapped by chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is present in 
chloroplast it is the green pigment i have already discussed about the structure of chlorophyll and chloroplast in my previous video lecture you can see here how the energy is released and oxygen passes into the air and hydrogen is available for the formation of carbohydrate some of the energy is released and splits water into hydrogen and oxygen here you can see where oxygen and hydrogen are utilized then the carbon dioxide enters the leaf through the stomata carbon dioxide combines with hydrogen using energy supplied by the chloroplast to form a carbohydrate such as glucose this is eventually converted into starch here i end my today's video lecture hope you have understood the concept of today's video lecture properly till then keep watching to the videos of edupediaworld.com have a wonderful day ahead